A number of weeks ago, I emailed Daniel Smith and just asking if they could send me some um, samples. And this is what they sent me in the post, which is very nice of them. So these are Daniel Smith Extra Fine. So let's take a look at these um, paints. Now I know a lot of artists absolutely love the Daniel Smith paints. And I know that they're uh, probably one of the best. I just never tried them. Um, I think, first of all, they are quite expensive. But again, it, in art, it's, um, it's a case of uh, you get what you pay for. So I do appreciate that if you do have uh, the money to buy these paints. So th this is the uh, colour chart that they also sent. So you can see how many colours they do do in the Daniel Smith Extra Fine range. There's plenty, plenty of colours there. But the ones that I wanted to um, sample today or do swashes of is actually the uh, Brenda Swenson palette. So these are the uh, colours that she uses or recommends. So let's let's get into the colour swatches. I'm using my um, Stillman and Byrne um, sketchbook, so I'll be using those. And one of the first things I wanted to do is just to see how how easy it is to get the pigment off the um, to activate the paper. And you can see it's really really easy. Just a bit of water and it just loses that paint um, to a nice consistency straight away. So I think that's the thing with the more expensive um, brands. They're quite, you, you, you don't need to use as much paint and they come off the palette really quickly. So this is Qu Quinacridone Gold. Um, so while I'm doing this, I'm just letting the colors mix together, just see what, um, what how, they, how they act. And quite quite nice the way they uh, blend together and mix on the paper and you can see how punchy those colors are this is a raw sienna light and so this is quite um raw sienna is quite a light color anyway so this is um no different it's just a light raw sienna and then there's a permanent yellow deep which is a really nice punchy color and now uh, quinacridone burnt orange and one of the things that I really like about the Daniel Smith is some of the names, they're uh, really, really sort of unique. Uh, this one is Anthroquin, Anthroquinoid Scarlet. And this is a really, really nice red. And then there's Permanent Alizarin Crimson, which I'm quite familiar with. And I'm sure most of you are using uh Permanent alizarin crimson or alizarin crimson, and there's quinacridone rose. That's quite a nice, um, almost like the alizarin crimson, but more sort of purpley sort of color. And then you have imperial purple, which is um, a one that I've not used before. Um, it's quite a nice, nice purple color. And then one one that I always use is French ultramarine. It's quite a common, quite a popular color. So this is quite a nice sky color. Oftentimes I use ultramarine and cerulean blue in my skies. And it's got a thalo blue, which is a green shade. So there's different shades of different colors. This is a green shade. And then cobalt blue, which is another popular color. Quite nice to come off the, um, to activate. And it gives a nice um, sort of sky wash. It'd be really nice to use in the, the beach scene. The manganese hue, blue hue, which is quite a new one to me. It's quite light, quite washed out. Uh, probably isn't something that I would buy myself. Uh, cobalt teal blue was the next one, which is quite a nice turquoise color. And then thalo turquoise. Uh, thalo green, this is the blue shade, which I'm taking off the palette now. You can see how strong that colour is. Quite a rich, vibrant colour. And then the transparent red oxide. And I'm guessing with the name, this will be quite transparent. Um, it's a nice brown, sort of earthy colour. Um, almost red, ready brown. 
And then the last one is Luna Black, which is quite a nice colour. And I'm, I'm adding some water as I put these pigments down just to see how they sort of blend out. And uh, so I'm quite impressed with these uh, colours. I I really would I, I would recommend these colours if if you're uh, if if it's in your price range you are a bit pricey otherwise um i do have a video on jackson's watercolors no comparison but they are quite a lot lot cheaper if you're looking for something um as a beginner then um, i'll link that video so you can see uh, jackson's watercolors um, which i do usually use but these uh, daniel smith uh, something that um, I hope to get at some point. Um, obviously, um, they are quite pricey, but I think they're well worth the money. You can see how punchy, how vibrant the colours are. Um, one of the things that I would just quickly point out, on the left-hand side is the Cobalt Teal Blue, which I uh, missed. And on the right is actually Cobalt Blue, so I missed that 